Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So only quite recently, Microsoft gave Windows 11 the ability to show seconds in the system tray clock by turning on this toggle. And you can see now I have seconds, as you may well know. Now, a veteran developer at Microsoft Windows, Raymond Chen, has posted an interesting article, the ongoing story of seconds on the taskbar, which I'll leave in the description if you want some more info, telling us why there's been this kind of debacle with seconds in the taskbar or not. Now, as posted by Windows Latest and as mentioned by Chen, Microsoft had previously tested a version of the taskbar clock with seconds and also a blinking colon back in Windows 95 that error around there like the blinking colon we have um, on digital clocks and microsoft then removed it because it used extra memory about four kilobytes which isn't a lot but back then with windows 95 it only needed four megabytes of ram to run okay so if you think windows 11 the minimum ram requirements these days are four gigs which i think is still a little bit uh, too low but those days, it was only 4 megs. It needed 4 megabytes of RAM to run. So it does put it into a little bit of context when you go back to the stats back with Windows 95. Now, if we bring ourselves back into the present 2025, hardware specs have grown exponentially since Windows 95. So the question is, then why did Microsoft take so long to introduce seconds into the Windows 11's taskbar clock? And according to the post by Chen, it's all in the details. Now it goes something like this. Showing seconds means the clock would update every second. I think that goes without saying. Which according to the post stops the processor from going into full sleep mode. So what happens is if the CPU then stays a little bit more active, which can lead to slightly higher battery use over time. And according to the post that's one reason microsoft didn't make the feature default in windows 11 because obviously you have the option to turn the clock on and off in windows 11 you don't have that option on windows 10 but i have posted a video how you can enable seconds in the system tray clock of windows 10 and i'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because there is a workaround for that now according to the posts in microsoft's tests File Explorer used about 0.4 milliwatts normally. Okay, so when the taskbar clock was set to show seconds, like I currently have it now, power use went up to around 5.4 milliwatts. Now, both of those figures are very low, but if you put it into context, a laptop screen can use anywhere from 200 to 1100 milliwatts. So basically, the extra energy consumption from the clock is minuscule if you compare it to what a laptop screen can use. Now, although that's still very low, 5.4 milliwatts, there was a balance between efficiency and what was acceptable. And as mentioned, it seems that the clock got to be on the wrong side of that scale. So that's why Microsoft was reluctant to put it into Windows 10 and eventually put it into Windows 11 but gave you the option to turn it on because they turned it off by default. And if we head back to that setting, you can see they even say in the small print, uses more power. Okay, so Microsoft does warn you. I personally um, don't like seconds in the system tray clock. I just find it distracting and I have no need to see seconds there. So I'll just keep the feature turned off. But at least now we have an option when it's all said and done to enable it in settings or turn it off depending on your personal choice and preference. And just on a side note, if you are wondering how to get the world time, speaking of clocks, into your calendar, I'll leave a video how you can do that in Windows 11 linked in the end screen. So interesting read, it'll be in the description, but just wanted to share that with you guys in case you're wondering what the big deal was with all those seconds or no seconds in the system tray clock. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.